up guys let's do this reaction rate constant k value here so what if we get a constant at one temperature so recall a Arrhenius equation is here this is the k at this value and you can relate it because this is the pre-exponential factor times the exponent of this here now one thing is of course I give you this value 0 0.05 and this temperature 300 Kelvin so very nice if I got this temperature I got this k value but what will happen if I don't need that temperature but 400 how do I get this k value may I get it may I relate them or how do I get this value here we're going to see that it is still possible to relate it to this temperature we don't need to go to extra data actually we're going to use this equation but first where do I got this equation well it's kind of easy we got this Arrhenius equation let's say we got k0 or better yet k at temperature 0 and you got this temperature 0 of course and you got this k at this temperature and we got this temperature let's say and okay we got these two equations I just let's say we just substitute data I got this temperature yes I got this temperature it's the one I choose let's say it's 400 and T0 let's say is 300 so I got this 300 here I got this K let's say it's 0 0.005 I got it yes this K value no I don't know it and what else do I need well let me just subtract this value here or divide here we divide it and I get this value here and dividing this and this I will get this equation and as you can see I got everything I got this value yes I got this value yes I got this value yes and I'm supposing that you got the activation energy and as you can see I don't need the pre-exponential factor I only need activation energy the constant at that temperature and the new temperature I want I will get this k constant here so I will recommend you to do this show the values of temperature for two times that k value what will be the temperature three times that k value and so on so given k at 25 celsius let's say this is the value so k of 25 celsius it's this here and that e divided by r the activation energy divided by r is 2.53 so what do you will do essentially is you have this yes is the point here is it 0 0.025 0 0.025 you got this is exponential to the two point something was temperature you don't know it but you know this is three times and five times no two times three times and ten times so just do it and you will see how they relate themselves and we're going to do an exercise about this here, but I'm going to break it and do it in other video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.